Okay, with me here, I've got the winner of the 2022 Cassidy Construction Tauranga Cup, Joe Leith from Murray's Bay. Joe, congratulations, mate. How is it? Tell, give us a feeling of your emotions right now. Um, I'm super stoked, especially since I had a rough Tanner Cup and I had a rough first day of this regatta as well. And then, yeah, to finish the, my P class career with the, the Nationals win is pretty awesome. Yeah, and you said you had a rough uh, start to the regatta. You had a disqualification on that first day. You felt they put a little pressure on. It didn't look like it put too much pressure on you. You came back and nailed yesterday with a 1-1-2. With a one, one, yeah, after that disqualification, I kind of just wanted to like not get bothered by any other boats anymore and just sail my own race. Well, you yeah. did you did that did that well. And today, guys, today I'm sitting up there in the tower. It didn't look like the most straightforward race in the world. It was pretty shifty. We were fighting between the westerly and the nor'easter, and then on the oh crikey, how what was it? A couple of hundred meters from the finish, the breeze shut down. Was there some nerves going there? Yeah, well off the start it wasn't the best start and I was real nervous. <laughs> then I was third round the top mark, so I was like, oh this is all good, I'll just hold this. And then I lost one place on the reach, I was like, oh no, nah, it's fine, it's fine. And then I lost three more on the next reach <laughs> and I'm like, oh no, nah, this isn't good. And was then that the, the most re most places you've lost on some reaches in about five years? Yeah, it was just <laughs> it was just not good. And then yeah, on that second beat, I just just kind of went left, tried to find a shift to come back on, and then managed to get around top mark in fifth or fourth. Nice. And um, yeah. And uh, next to next to you, we've got your dad over here, Scott Leith, who's also the event organizer. I know what it's like, Scott, being a dad out there watching. Um, you know, you got any fingernails left? Yeah, I don't uh, do the fingernails, but I certainly it was intense, and I uh, had a look away a couple of times around that bottom mark uh, for the last lap. Joe was about eighth, and I knew you know he had to come sixth for, for the win, and uh, felt he you know sailed really really well all week. So I, I felt in my heart I really wanted him to to finish it off, and um, so yeah, it was definitely intense. I looked away a few times, and uh, all the uh, race crew on the on the boat were really supportive of me and saying he'll get there, he'll get there, be all right. Let me uh, let me ask you know you're a uh, multiple Masters Laser World Champion. Um, what's more nervous, doing that yourself or watching your sun sail? Oh, way, way more nervous watching your sun sail. Uh, when you're in control of uh, your own boat, there's no, there are some nerves, yep. but they're uh, controllable for sure. This was uh, really intense, and you know the, the breeze was playing havoc all day. Yeah. So, awesome. And so, Joe, you got any uh, anybody out there you'd like to thank? Ah, uh, my family, like my dad and all that, for supporting me and helping me through the regatta. And my coach and sailmaker Graham, because yeah, he was just real nice the whole regatta, and helped me through the regatta and my tough times. Good and then the race committee because they tried real hard to get a race underway today, and yeah, it was a decent race in the end. And my competitors for making that last race real nerve-wracking for me. <laughs> awesome, mate. Well, congratulations. You'll. Uh... You gotta go look at the names on that trophy. There's some phenomenal Kiwi sailing names on that trophy. You should be very proud and uh, to add your name to that list. Well done. Yeah, thank you. Thanks, Cam. Cheers, Scott. Well done, We're here with Bella Jenkins, the first girl in the Taronga Cup. How do you feel? Good. Was it tough out there today with no wind? Uh, yeah. I had a capsize, but still got first girl in the race. Good job, how do you feel now? Really good, yeah. Alright, so I'm here at the uh, end of the Cassidy Construction Tauranga Cup with Will Leach, who's placed third overall. Well, um, your cheeky little brother there trying to give you some grief. Hey listen, um, you ended up winning the last race. Yep. Which put you onto the podium. How's that feel? Yeah, good. It was just very, very lucky in the end. Yeah, it was a pretty big uh, shutdown change on that last little beat, eh? Yeah. And how were the conditions out there today? Uh, very fluky and gusty. It, was, it changed like so much throughout the day yeah. and then changed back. So, yeah. All good to get. So, you're happy? Did you achieve your goals? What was, you know, you're, you're happy with your result? Yeah, it was good. Yeah? Yep. Not yeah. giving us too much here, mate. <laughs> no, it was, it was all right. I mean, third, I'll take it. 
Good on you, mate. Yeah. Good on you. All right. Well, we'll look forward. I'm sure we'll see you for many years ahead in all these regattas. Yep. All right. Awesome. Yeah. Good to chat. Thank you. Okay, so I'm here with uh, Flynn and Nick Olsen. Uh, this is another one of our family connections in the P-Class here at the Tauranga Cup. We've got the crossbow here, number 62, which I, I'm pretty sure was the uh, Tauranga Cup winner in 1990, yeah. I believe. I think Chris Main won in, uh, in Worsa Bay. And Nick, you sailed this boat um, a few years after that, or, or the, straight yeah, after that, did you? <laughs> yeah. You sailed it straight after that? Yeah, I sailed it straight after that uh, for two years. Did the Tanner and Tarrant Cup twice in it. Yeah, nice. And now you've got your boy back sailing the boat. Flynn here, um, you know, pretty cool to have you have you, have him sailing your own boat. Yeah, I mean, he's, we have a bit of banter about, um, you know, whose generation's better. <laughs> and um, and so it's really cool to, to, to see him out there uh, giving it a nudge and, um, and learning a, a bit about these great boats. Now, Flynn, uh, you know, how you tell me about you know sailing your dad's old boat and sailing the P class? Do you like the P class? Oh yeah, it's a pretty cool boat to sail. I mean, I wish it could go a bit faster. But... <laughs> Don't we always nowadays? Everything yeah, needs can't... to go faster. We got to get we get it foiling yeah. one day. What do you reckon? Yeah, yeah, we could get a foiling P class one day. And uh, yeah, so your dad tells you lots of stories about the good old days. Yeah, he he tells me a lot how, about how he got third in the Tanner Cup. <laughs> <laughs> There you go. And so you've been here, this is your first P-Class Nationals. Yep. Um, you enjoyed your experience here at Murray's Bay? Yeah, it was good fun. Yeah. I hoped it would have been a bit windier, but yeah. Yeah, I've, I've heard that from quite a few people, so uh, maybe next year in Plymouth. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, mate. Well, thank you very much. And, uh, you know, we'll, we'll see you around the traps on many other boats for years yep. to come, I'm sure, eh? Yeah. Good thank on you. you. Cheers. Okay, so I'm here with Nate Soper um, from Murray's Bay Sailing Club and, you know, recently moved up from Charteris Bay. Our youngest, uh, one of the youngest in the fleet and certainly the youngest in the top ten by, by a little chunk there, Nate. You finished ninth overall. How was your experience here, mate? I was good. Um, it was my second Tauranga Cup. My first one was in Charteris Bay. Yeah. Yeah, it was pretty good fun. It was good hanging around with my friends as well. So. Yeah, cool, isn't it? Now, I remember, if I'm going back only about 14 months when you first sailed the P-Class out here for the Tanner Cup trials, and uh, that very first day you, you didn't even get out past the point, you know, because it was super windy and you're a bit, you know, the P-Class was giving you a bit of grief, and 14 months later you finished top 10 in the Tauranga Cup. How does that, how does that happen? Is that a lot of hard work, a lot of training? Yeah, well, it's, yeah, pretty, pretty good. Um, <laughs> Had some good coaching? Yeah, good coaching. Graham, uh, Blake McGlashan, Scotty, uh, Cam. Yeah, they're yeah. pretty good coaches. They're, yeah, really nice. Awesome. It's really good. Awesome. And you've got some good mates in the fleet here. There's a good vibe going around. I yes. see you guys up there playing, playing your games up on the TV. Lots of table tennis, lots of pool. Yeah. Keep, keeps you relaxed. Yeah, it's good. Awesome, mate. Or right, well done. I think you, we're going to see a lot of you in the future. You're a future rock star, I think, uh, here in New Zealand. So uh, we'll look, look for your name years to come. Yeah. Cheers, bud. Okay, so that is the end of day three and the final day of the Cassidy Construction Tauranga Cup. And a nail-biting finish. The race committee just got a race in in the nick of time. Dave West and his team. It was always going to be a tricky day. They just got a race in before the cutoff. Joe Leith from Murray's Bay is our national champion with Bella Jenkins from Kauri Marama taking out the Naomi James Trophy for the girls' trophy. Unbelievable regatta. Super conditions. Beautiful summer here at Murray's Bay. 52 boats going home. 52 competitors going home with a smile on their face and looking forward to hopefully next year. So again, a massive shout out to Predict Wind for bringing you this segment. Please go and look on their website, support them. The forecasts from Predict Wind are second to none, top in the world, anywhere you are. Thanks a lot. This is Cameron Dunn signing out from the Murray's Bay Sailing Club.